Hello friends and welcome and happy Wednesday to y'all. Smoking my Wednesday basket pipe uh, and enjoying some I can keep it from falling apart. LJ Peretti Thanksgiving Day. Uh, you guys have probably seen this before. Fantastic blend. Uh, this year, it's, it's a little different every year, but this year we got uh, a bit more of that cinnamon note that I was talking about previously, and uh, yeah, it's good stuff, very good stuff. And happy Veterans Day to all you veterans and all you folks that are actively involved in the military. Thank you. We appreciate everything you do for us to uh, keep us safe and protect our nation. And the small way I have of commemorating that right now is that I picked out my uh, cannon tamper from Larry Blackett. It was the most military tamper I had. So I hope you guys are all doing well, having a having a great week. It's uh, certainly interesting times, isn't it? Uh, but I think it's important. Sorry, I just got the first light on this when I started the camera. I think it's important to to take out some time, not just on Veterans Day, Memorial Day, which is when we normally do it, but throughout the year to, you know, just consider the fact that folks have committed their lives, you know, committed their entire careers and, and quite possibly risked their lives for our way of life, for our safety and security. And... It's a remarkable thing. We, we should be thankful. And, you know, I know sometimes the whole thank you for your service thing becomes a bit, uh, a bit trite. And I've even had folks in uniform tell me that they'd rather people not do that because they hear it so often they, they don't think it's meaningful anymore. You know, it's almost like the way you say hello to someone that's a serviceman, but or, or woman. But at the same time, we do need to recognize them and be thankful to them. And that's not just for the folks that are actively in uniform, but the guys that are now retired and you know they, they provided a great service to us. So thank you all. It's it's from from the heart, it is much appreciated. So I am, by the way, trying out a new method with this video today, which is why I'm on this side of the shop instead of my normal Wednesday spot. Uh, if this works, I'm, I'm basically not going to have to do any editing, and I'll just upload what I've got. be interesting to see if this works. This is Thanksgiving Day is really good. And this Saturday... We are having a um, live stream giveaway, 4 p.m. Eastern, and I'm going to be giving away a full cake of the uh, pretty Thanksgiving day. So this one is one that I've already had about eight bowls out of, um, but it is four ounces of tobacco. It's called a cake, but it's a really, you can see it's a very loose pressed cake. Um, and I have trouble even calling it a crumble cake. It's held together so loosely but it is delicious. So you can win that, a four ounce pack of that um, just by answering a few trivia questions. So I hope you'll be able to, to join us on Saturday for that. So, boy, it's been a, an eventful time since we last talked. And I was sure hoping that by now we would be able to put all the politics behind us and, and move forward. And, uh, of course we can. You know, anybody that's paying attention knows that the election has not been decided uh, in the United States. We do not know who the next president is going to be, despite what the media might be telling you. You know, if you think you know the answer to that, there's a good chance you're wrong. Um, it doesn't matter which side you're on. You know, you look at some of these states where the, there's a razor thin margin. You know, it's, it's, it's basically 50-50. And they're going to go to hand recounts, in some cases, audits and canvassing and everything else. Uh, so just ignoring any potential fraud. Uh, it's highly unlikely that the 
way things are today is the way things are going to be in a few weeks' time. And then you've got all the, the legal stuff going on. And, you know, I don't care what anybody says, there was clearly fraud in Pennsylvania. Uh, there was probably clearly fraud in other states as well. Uh, you've all seen the reports uh, to the extent that the media is letting them out. But, yeah, there's a lot of evidence for it. Many, many votes are going to get thrown out in Pennsylvania just because in Pennsylvania they changed the law without, you know, any any legal ability to do so. They just decided that you can uh, send your ballots in after 8 p.m. on election night, whether or not they're postmarked, whether or not they're, well, they didn't say whether or not they're signed, but they apparently have ignored signatures as well. A lot of those votes are going to be invalidated and should be because uh, we want to, we want a legal election process. We want to preserve our process. And most importantly, no matter who wins, we want to learn from this and we want to make sure this never happens again. And we've got to come up. There's no reason in this day and age that we cannot have people prove who they are before they vote. Now, you cannot tell me that that's disenfranchising anyone. Who out there does not have a, a cell phone, does not have a a form of identification, does not have a credit card, does not have something that they can show and say, yep, that's my name. I mean, we expect that to be done in every other aspect of our lives. Why is it that when it comes to voting, people freak out about that and say, oh, we can't do that. It's just crazy. So anyway, hopefully we will learn our lesson. Um, I don't expect to have an answer uh, in terms of who really won until sometime in December. and. You know, the, for those of you that don't know, if you're if you're from another country or if you just don't know, uh, the way our system works is that we don't go by what the media says is true. We don't, you know, if CNN calls Pennsylvania for Biden or for Trump, that doesn't really matter. That's a projection. What actually matters is that sometime in December, forget the actual date in December, and it might be different for each state, but it's sometime in December, the state legislature decides. Uh, which electors are seated in the Electoral College. So in other words, the Pennsylvania State Legislature decides who won the election, presidential election. And this Pennsylvania State Legislature has already said that they will not do that until a full audit occurs because they do not want to act on potentially faulty information. And that's happening all over the country. It's nothing's decided. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, it's a shame. This is this is painful. This is bad for our country. This is bad for our, our form of government. It makes people feel like they can't trust the process, and I think that's true on both sides. And I would hope that everybody would be united in the fact that we want to have a process that we can trust. You know, it doesn't matter who wins this time. It really doesn't at this point. What matters is that we fix this problem so that we can move forward believing that the president is actually the president that was elected. I don't know how you do that this time, but we have to fix this. So that's enough of that. Um, I know some folks don't like politics. Some folks say that everything's politics. I don't care. I don't think that was politics. I think that was talking about political processes. And anybody that's not thinking about that right now is lying. At least anybody in the U.S. that's not thinking about that right now. I really do like this Thanksgiving Day. Um, I, not enough that I would want to smoke it all day, to be honest. It's, it's kind of a, a special treat. and I've been smoking it about once a day. Yeah, it's not because it's bad, it's just because it's so different, so unique, that I like to keep it that way. You know, I, I like to have it put in as a surprise rather than become habituated to it. So this Friday, we've got Virtual Pipe Club, uh, so it'll be you and me. Uh, should be fun. We'll, uh, We'll have a few drinks and a few pipes, and we'll just see what comes up. It's Friday the 13th, so we'll have to keep our fingers crossed that it all goes well, but I think it will. It, it usually does.
and then on Saturday, uh, that, that's 8 p.m. on Friday, and then on Saturday uh, at 4 p.m. we're going to do the giveaway live stream, and all those times are Eastern, and I have put both of those up, you know, scheduled them, so you should get notifications and everything, and when you see those come up, be sure to click the little bell so that you're alerted when, uh, when the stream actually starts, and I will look forward to uh, seeing all you guys. Uh, it's always a great time. We had a um, couple of Zoom meetups recently. You know, a couple that I did preparing for the, the Halloween video and uh, one that a, that a friend set up. It was hopefully going to be several folks attending, but I was the only one that made it. And, you know, it's going to have to be that kind of thing. Nobody can guarantee a block of time anymore. But uh, it was a lot of fun, just just getting a chance to, to have a pipe and talk to some guys about whatever, you know, there's no, no schedule, no structure, no, no agenda, just what's going on. Um, it was a lot of fun, and I hope we, hope we can do more of that as, uh, as we get through the holidays, which, you know, that's another whole kettle of fish that we've got to deal with. But as we get through that and kind of get back to some sense of normalcy, Whatever the heck normal looks like. Uh, I'd love to be able to do more of that. Not not as videos, not as live streams, just as you know, getting to know people. Well, folks, that's about all that I've got to talk about today. I hope you're all having a great week and looking forward to uh, the second half of the week ahead. And I hope that we can uh, see you this weekend. So with that, guys, I'm going to say goodbye. You all take care, and we'll talk soon.